oh man, I'm already sweating. I can already feel the backlash that I'm gonna get from stylists for teaching you how to cut your bangs at home. Okay, let's just back this up. I get it. Obviously, I would recommend that you go see a stylist, see a professional. It's gonna be a safer bet. It's gonna be a lot more relaxing and the probability is high that you're gonna get a much better result. But with that said, let's also be honest. You don't always have time to get to a stylist. Maybe you can't get to a stylist, right? And you still wanna know, how do you cut your bangs at home the safe way? So that's what I'm gonna teach you. I'm gonna talk all about that today. But back up, if you're brand new to my channel, my name is Justin Hickox. I've been doing hair for 25 years and what I like to do on this channel is teach you about hair, right? Help you make your hair a little bit easier, share tips, tricks, that kind of thing. So if that's a thing that interests you, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you get notified every Tuesday when I bring out a brand new video. But today we're gonna talk all about bangs and there's gonna be a lot of information to cover here. I'm gonna be sharing a lot of little tips and tricks, key points throughout this video that you're gonna need to know to make cutting your bangs a safe and effective experience for you. I'm gonna share how to cut longer bangs from having no bangs, how to cut shorter bangs from having no bangs, how to style bangs, how to trim pre-existing bangs. We're gonna go through it all, it's a lot. But first we need to talk about tools because hey, let's be real, you're gonna need some tools. So first let's talk about combs. Now go get yourself a comb like this. For the techniques that I'm gonna be showing you, you don't want a wide tooth comb. You want a comb similar to one of these. This is a rat tail comb. It makes sectioning a lot easier, but it's not necessary. This is gonna work just fine for you. Now you're also gonna need some shears or scissors. The thing about shears is just make sure that the blade isn't super long. You want a shorter blade only because they're a lot easier to control. And the longer it is, the more probability there is that you may cut a little more off than you wanna cut off. So stick to a shorter blade. Now you may also wanna get some sort of texturizing shears. There's gonna be a lot out there, typically they're thinning shears. And what you're gonna see is stuff a lot like this. This is very normal thinning shear. What you'll notice is the blade is exactly the same size as the hole next to it. And all that means is you're cutting off half of your hair. The ones I like to use, which I'm gonna link in the description below, and no, there's no cutback to me for these. I just love them, so I'll help you find them. They're not the cheapest, but they are my favorite. And that is these. These are more of a texturizing shear. Now, if you look closely, what you'll see is these, the blade is actually smaller than the hole next to it. And that means you're just cutting off less hair. All that's to say is they're more forgiving, less chance of screwing up, less chance of taking too much. So I prefer these. But with that said, now that you know all the tools, let's dive into cutting some bangs. Now, one thing that we need to know is that when I put this comb on her head, it's going to leave her scalp at a certain point. But the important part is to understand that anything in front of that, that's what's gonna fall forward. Anything at that point is likely to fall to the sides and anything behind it is likely to fall back. So if you comb this hair forward and you want a really super thick bang and it's not thick enough for you, so you start combing this hair from way back here forward and you cut that like a bang, just know that you have effectively cut very short layers in the back of your head and you will end up with a rad mullet. So what you wanna do, and I'm actually gonna give you the comb so that you can show us how to do this. What you wanna do is I wanna put that comb on your head and just kind of feel with your fingers where that leaves your scalp, right? So right about in there. So now take the comb away. So I want you to take that and draw a line from here and I want you to just go to the recession point right here. So just draw a little part right there. Perfect. And I want you to comb everything behind it out of the way. Look at that. That's pro. So I'm gonna hold this back here for you. So you would clip that back. Okay, now let's go to the other side from that same point. This is way easier having someone else do it than it is me doing it, look at this. I'm gonna go ahead, what we'd wanna do is we'd wanna make sure, ideally, that it's a little bit cleaner so we can see that there's a little bit of a hiccup right here in this little spot. So I would take that and I would just draw it a little bit cleaner, try to get that as clean of a parting as we possibly can there, okay? One of the things we wanna make sure of is that we don't take all of this hair and just start whacking away at it, right? So one way to be safe is to know that this is going to be the section that we cut our, that are gonna be bangs, but what if we just take some of this out of the way and cut a little bit less to start with? This way, if we do for some reason get it a little bit too short or something happens, something goes wrong, we have another section that we can pull down that will help to kind of cover that up a little bit. Okay. So this is what you're gonna do. I'm gonna give this to you and you're gonna comb that straight parallel to the part, just Great, now you can hold it. There you go, and you're gonna hold it in your comb like this. Now the reason for that is because if you take your hair and you pull this down like this real tight and you cut that, 
you're gonna end up with bangs shorter. Some textures, you're gonna end up with bangs shorter than other textures. If we take a comb, we let that hair rest in the comb, we know that this has no tension on it. So wherever she cuts this, it's gonna fall basically at that length. We're taking a lot of length off. We're gonna start with these but we're gonna put those in our hand. And the first thing is first is what we have to remember is since we want these to angle down and blend in, we're gonna cut them on the same way. So we know that the shortest piece is gonna be right here to the longest piece. So if we tilt this and make that comb kind of match that part, now we're just gonna cut a line from here and we're just gonna go, we're gonna use this as kind of the guide as our longest piece. And then we're just gonna cut a line that's diagonal. So you're gonna put these in and you're gonna make sure that you're not holding it really straight like this, or that's gonna make a very blunt line. It's hard to get that line out. You also, if it's too straight up and down, that's good for texturizing that line, but it's really hard to take a lot of length off. It takes a long time. So you're gonna hold it just at like angle, and then you're just gonna get at the very ends and just start cutting those away, or however much length you need to take off. Just like that. See how she's doing that? That's perfect. You guys can see this is still matching the angle, the part, and she's just taking away piece by piece Right? This is a very safe way of alleviating length without taking all your hair off all at once and praying that you get it the right length. So she'll just continue to do that until she gets the right length. One good thing to do after you're done is go back through, this is why I love these texturizing shears, you can go back through at the very end and just texturize those ends a little bit and that'll help it blend a little bit better and it'll keep it from looking too bulky right there where it cuts into the cheek. Okay, now let's talk about how to cut shorter actual bangs. So what we've done is we've sectioned off this bang section. Now, if you look at where that line goes, it goes through recessions, but those recessions are right about above the crest of her eyebrow, okay? So that's kind of, we don't want to go outside of that. If we start pulling hair from outside of that, we could start getting very wide bangs, far cut back, and it's really hard to get them to blend. Just to, to be even a little bit safer, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this and I want you to just comb even a little like, like center section, basically for your hair just right at the middle of the eye, right, or inside of the middle of the eye, and just leave these outside pieces out of the equation. This is gonna allow us to ensure that when you trim those pieces, she doesn't end up with straight across bangs. Now you're just gonna basically do the same thing, but you're just gonna cut straight across. Straight across? It, well, the same, like this, but yes, but just straight across line. So you're just perfect. Perfect, now let it go. Okay, so now we're getting into a closer length. All you would do is just keep on bringing that up, inching it up piece by piece by piece until you get to the length that you want. But if you notice, this is still pretty blunt, but it allows me that when we take these sections out, even though that's straight across, we take these little pieces out, We've got a little bit to work with here and making sure that this doesn't go too far back and straight. So now with this stuff, you would just draw a little bit more of an angle there and you would start by just taking that and drawing a line so it blends in. Okay, so now that we've got the product in, let's talk about actually getting the moisture out. So I'm gonna have you take this and comb those straight down into your face like you're gonna wear a really heavy bang and now bring that blow up and just start drying those straight down. Even if we want some volume, we still are gonna get the volume, but we need to make sure that we get control first. So now I want you to go all the way from one side, perfect, and do that, and get it dry, and then do the other side, and then just go back and forth, back and forth, right? We would essentially call this non-directional, meaning you're not drying your hair to one side or the other in particular, you're going back and forth. This is gonna help eliminate any sort of specific part. If you've got a really strong part, it's gonna help us minimize that part as much as we can. But just like that, you're gonna go back and forth, back and forth. Now brush it back off your face. Perfect, and put this blow dryer down. Yep, there you go, there you go. And then back, that back down again now. Now if you can see, we've got the bangs. And even though she's got a really, really, really strong natural part, you're still finding because we're going back and forth, we're gonna be able to get some control out of where those bangs end up actually landing. She also has a very predominant widow's peak. But what you also see is, even though this widow's peak is here, because she was drying it back and forth, back and forth, and not giving any specific direction, when we comb this down, we're gonna get the most control out of that shape as we can. Let's say at this point you wanted to part your hair more off to the side. Because you haven't given it any specific part, if we go off to the side with it now, especially when you give it a little bit of bend, you're still gonna be able to get control and get it off to the side. So we've got her bangs styled now. She's got them at the roughly the length that we want. But what if you get home and you can't get in the salon and you wanna trim your bangs? You, what are you gonna do, right? So what you're gonna do is 
First of all, you're gonna style your bang 100% the way you would wear it. Then the next thing you're gonna do is you're going to just take the hair, everything outside of the crest of your eyebrow. I'm just gonna take and I'm gonna pull that out of the way. Okay, so all we're dealing with is the center stuff, the stuff right in between the eyebrow crests. So right about in there. Okay. If we cut outside of this, the concern is it will cut straight and all of a sudden you've got this little square section here and it's no longer sloping. It's very easy to overcut this. And if once you create that line, it's really hard to get out. What you're gonna do is you're gonna get very close to the mirror. She can't because we've got cameras here, but you get very close to the mirror and you're just gonna put those up and you're literally going to just cut like that. See how she's pointing into them? She's not doing this. So you're literally going to just snip the very tips until you get them to the right length. At this point, if you wanted to, you could take a comb, you could put that in those pieces, comb it down, and then do it like this, right? So you've got one, so grab this with this hand just so you can see it. So you got one hand, and then just do that, okay? And snip away at them in this way until you get the right length. The reason, again, that we're using this comb is because it means that there's not a lot of tension on the hair so that when she lets them out of the comb, they're gonna be the right length. If you do this and you comb this down and you pull it down, right, and then you snip them to the length that you want them and then you let them go up, see how much they just popped up, right, you're gonna end up with really, really, really short bangs. Then when you comb it down, you're gonna see that there's a little bit of length outside of that. If you want to at that point, what I would do is I would take the, sh the longest piece and I would use that as the starting piece and I would just connect the dots. You'll have a shorter bang here, longer bang here, and I would just cut into this stuff and just connect those two pieces, and then I would leave it alone. Then I would go to the stylist as soon as you can get in and let them reshape the bangs. But the worst thing you can do is cut square across like this or pull it down really, 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 really hard or against your scalp, and then do this where there's a lot of tension on it, and then watch it cinch back up, or cutting it too far out and back that is gonna cause a problem too. So don't do those things. All right, that's it. That's all I got. That's all the tips I have about how to cut bangs and how to style them. So I hope you found some value in it. Now, if you think you got a friend that might find some value, awesome. Do me a huge favor and share it with them. Or if you like this and you wanna see more, I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe. It'd mean a lot to me. If you didn't get value and you didn't like this, do not subscribe. Don't like this. Hey, I don't worry about it. Next time, there's always next time. Otherwise, if there's any specific topic that you wanna see a video about, never hesitate. I try to answer all the comments, so make sure you comment below. And you have a fantastic night. We will see you next Tuesday in the next video. Have a great night, I'll see ya.